You might think that the films reflect the reality, even challenge the norms in our society. Well, it happens. But when it comes to the film industry's way of dealing with gender equality, the statistics shows that we still seem to live in the 40s. How bad is it? Well, 9% of directors are women. 30% of speaking roles are female. And when it comes to protagonists, it's 12. When we finally show up, women are weak, victims, the silent girlfriend, and almost naked. If girls never get to see girls and women play soccer, be scientists, or be the hero, we have a huge risk that children believe that girls can't do any of this. After one year of research, we decided to give the Bechtel test a logo that everyone could use to put on films that did pass this test. The Bechtel test is from Alison Bechtel comic strips like to watch out for and asking for three things in film. Do the film have two or more women in it with names? Do they talk to each other about something other than men? You might not believe it, but so few film does pass this test. So now, 30 years later, it seems like we still need to discuss these criteria. The Bechtel test became a logo called A-Rate, where A stands for approved. We used this as a consumer information highlighting film that actually passed the test. Our idea was to get our audience to start think about how unequal the film representation actually are. The news about A-Rate became huge with more than 80 countries writing about it and celebrities talking about it as a great eye-opener. A-Rate is something everyone can use. Today, cinemas, film festivals, film critics, distributors are using the tool to an everyday reminder that we don't have an equal film industry yet.